PetSafe is committed to enhancing the special relationship between pets and their owners and know that owning a well-trained, obedient pet makes that relationship ever more pleasurable. That's why we've developed our remote training systems in conjunction with industry experts such as veterinary consultant David Chamberlain. It's vitally important that as a responsible owner you know how to use this product correctly and that's why we've asked professional trainer Mike Grantham to demonstrate how to use it in this short video. In this DVD I'm going to show you how you use the remote training system. This system is a wonderful tool to help you have a relaxed, calm, happy dog who will cooperate with you uh, out of choice. When used properly, you will get a relationship of mutual trust and mutual respect with your dog. This is the remote training system and one of the most important things that we have in here is actually the operating guide. The operating guide explains to you exactly how to use the remote training system. It's not a training guide, it's simply a guide of how to operate the system. And it tells you comprehensively all the, all the components and how to use them. In addition to the operating guide, the manufacturers have a very useful helpline and you can call them before you purchase or after you purchase if you have any queries whatsoever. Now this here is the remote transmitter. And we turn on the remote transmitter of this particular model by pressing any button. And you can see that there is a digital readout and it says we're at level one. We change the levels on this particular model by pressing, so that's level two, level three, etc. When I press this button here, it gives a pulse on the remote collar and I tap this on the continuous level. The red button is a boost and it's a sort of emergency boost and it raises the level by two levels. So if you're operating at level one, the boost would send it to level three, still a very low level. The receiver collar is switched on by pressing this little button here. And when I press that little button, you will see on the top that there is a little flash and it will flash green. So I'll press the button and it's switched on and we should see this flashing green. That's it off. That's it on and the green flash it's just a very faint green light happens here. There it goes. So that's the receiver collar. And the final part of the remote training system is the charging system. And with this particular charging system, you can charge up both the collar and the receiver batteries together because they're two components. The first thing we're going to do is talk about the components and what is necessary to utilize this system. Here we have the remote transmitter. And here we have the collar receiver, which will go onto the dog. First thing to note about this is that the collar receiver has two contacts, which have to be in contact with the dog's skin. If the dog is a very furry dog with a long coat, we sometimes have to change those contacts and put on slightly longer contacts, 
With most collars, both sets of contacts will come with the collar. In addition to the collar, we're going to use a long lead or a line and a flat collar which will be attached to the lead. We don't, in any situation, attach the lead to the remote collar because the, the pulling might pull the contacts away from the skin. This is Poppy. As you can see, Poppy's a Dalmatian. She's never had a collar on before, or should I say a working collar, but she has had a collar on for about a week, uh, which has been switched off to simply get her used to it. So now I'm going to show you how we attach the collar to the dog. The first thing to do is to switch the collar on. And we switch the collar on without putting it on the dog. You shouldn't switch the collar on on the dog, just for safety reasons. So I'm going to switch the collar on, and you can probably see that that collar is now, there's a little green light that's flashing, and we know the collar's on. I can test the collar to make sure it is on by pressing and seeing that when I press the button, the continuous button, the red light continues to be on as long as I press the button. When I take my finger off the button, the stimulation stops. So you press, the stimulation's on, take my finger off, the stimulation stops. There is a cutout at around about 10 seconds to stop overstimulation. Most collars, but not all, can be adjusted so in addition to the stimulation going on continuously, there is what is called a nick button, which will give you a little nick of about a tenth of a second, however long you put your finger down. We're going to start off using continuous stimulation, and then we might move on to the nick stage just to remind the dog what to do. So I'm, this is switched on, and I'm now going to fit it onto Poppy. I'll put that in my pocket. There's my good girl. And we want to fit the, put the collar on with pleasant associations because we don't want her to dislike the collar. So I'm going to give her a wee treat. There's my girl. Oh, what's this? Yes, there we are. Good girl. Yes. Oh, good girl. And I'm going to just gently make sure that the collar is in contact with her skin. There's my clever girl. So we we'll give her a little treat or a little bit of attention and we put the collar nice and snug so we know it's in contact. So it's nice and snug and the contacts are contacting her skin. The lead can be attached to a flat collar, as in Poppy's case, or to a harness if necessary. If you prefer to use a harness on your dog, that's fine. You can attach the lead to the harness as long as you don't attach it to the remote training collar. Yeah. As you can see, Poppy is of a fairly nervous nature. She's a bit of a wary dog, a little bit anxious. For dogs that are flighty and worried and nervous, you might think it's surprising, but the remote training collar can be the ideal tool because it can be gentle and it's a, a really good way of communicating with these dogs. So we've fitted the collar onto Poppy. It's nice and snug, and it's fitted just below her ears at the narrowest point of her neck, so it won't move from there. And I can just get a finger in, but it's like tying your shoes up nice and snug. We're now going to find Poppy's minimum recognition level, or her minimum working level, and that's the minimum level of stimulation that she feels. This is quite a subtle thing, and it's important that you watch for the slightest little movement of the dog. It's a big mistake to turn the level up too quickly. So just watch very carefully and err on the safe side. I'm going to wander around now and tap the button, and I'll explain when I think that Poppy feels it. So Poppy, we've got it at the minimum level, and tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. She might just be feeling that. Tap, tap, tap. Yes, I think she might have felt that. So she's 
And it looks as though Poppy is feeling that at the minimum level. I'll just try this again. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Turn it up one. Tap, 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 tap. Yes, she's raising her head, and that's at level two. We're now going to use that minimum recognition level that we found to teach Poppy to pay attention. And there are a couple of things I want to say before we actually start that process. The first is that I'm going to use the continuous button on the collar, but I'm going to tap it. And this is what's going to happen when I tap the collar. So I'm going to take the collar off Poppy, just for a minute, and I hope you can see that when I press the continuous button, the red light comes on. So I press the continuous button and the red light comes on. But the way I'm going to teach Poppy is by tapping that continuous button. So it's like this. It's a tap every second or half second. It's tap, 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 tap. Just like that. Tap, 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 tap. And that's how I find we get the best results. So I'll put the collar back on Poppy. There's a good girl. The reason that we're starting off this DVD with Poppy is that she is a fairly straightforward dog without any behavioral problems. So you can see how we find the minimum level and how we get her to pay attention. Later on in the DVD, we're going to use some other dogs that are a little bit more demanding uh, so you can see how these same things are done with different dogs. So we're going to now start to teach Poppy to pay attention. And the way I'm going to teach her to pay attention is I'm going to tap on the button and as she looks at me or as she pays attention, I'm going to say, good girl, yes, and I'm going to reward her. So she learns that actually paying attention turns off the tapping and also brings a reward through my attention to her and a treat sometimes. So let's see how this process works. Nice slack lead and... I know her working level. Tap, tap, tap. Good girl, yes. Yes, clever girl. Good girl and a treat. So you saw that I tapped. She started to pay attention. It's a good idea to change direction as you tap. Tap, tap. Good girl. Good girl, yes. Clever girl. Good girl. There we are. Good girl. Good. So we've now got Pop. Good girl. Poppy paying attention. I wasn't tapping there because she's paying attention fine. Tap, tap. Good girl. Clever girl. Yes. Good dog. There we go, Poppy. What a clever girl. Good girl. Good girl. So good girl. Yes. So she's paying attention now very well indeed, and I'm not having to use the collar. Now that was quite quick. Tap, 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 tap. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Good dog. Yes. With some of the other dogs, it'll take a little bit longer. Good girl. I didn't use the collar there. And as you can see, she's paying attention very nicely. Good girl. Yes. Clever girl. And she gets a treat. This is Bella. Bella is a Labrador cross and she's got a bit of a chasing problem. She tends to chase deer and rabbits and that sort of thing. And as you can see, she's pulling on the lead. Now we've had the remote collar on her, but not working for about a week to get her used to it. What we're gonna do now is the first stage of finding out her working level and then teaching her to pay attention. So I'm just gonna wander around. I'm starting at the lowest level, which she's not feeling at all. I'm pressing the button at the lowest level and she's not, she's not responding at all so I'm going up one level 
and there might be a little response there. So not really. I'm going up now and I think I can see good girl. Yes, 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 yes. Good girl. So I'm pressing the button. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, good girl, yes, good girl. I'm rewarding her for paying attention. She's pulling away. I'm press, press, tap, tap, tap. Good girl, what a good girl you are. Good girl, we're now starting to put the word heel in. And I say poppy heel, tap, heel, yes, good girl. And she gets a treat, tap, tap, good girl, heel. That's my girl, heel. Good girl, Poppy, yes! Clever girl. There we are, good girl. And I'm going to say to her, Poppy, tap, heel, heel, good girl. Yes, very good, very good. So Poppy's starting to learn to follow me on a slack lead, and she's learning to use the word Poppy, heel. Good girl. Heel means be in that position there. Good girl. Yes, good girl. And I'm giving her a treat when she is there. So I can walk around, heel. Good girl. Good girl. That's my good girl. There's my good girl. What a clever girl. Good girl, Poppy. That's a good girl. And we can say to our Poppy, sit. Yes, good girl. There we are. Right? So we're now starting to get Poppy to cooperate with us and she's, she's happy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And she's relaxed and she's quite happy about the whole situation. And now she's paying attention and she's in the correct position, which you might like to call heel. I'm going to start putting the command. Bella, heel, tap, tap. Good girl, heel, good girl. There's my good girl. Good girl, heel, tap. Heel, tap, tap, tap. Good girl. Heel, tap, tap. Good girl, heel, clever girl, heel. Good girl, what a good girl. What a good girl. Bella, heel, tap, tap, tap. Good girl, good. Good girl, that's my girl. Good girl, good dog, good. Bella, heel, good girl, good girl. Now our attention's going, so I'm gonna say heel and tap the button at the same time. Bella, heel, tap, 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 good girl. Good dog, good dog. Poppy's been doing very well and after you've been teaching your dog to pay attention and walk to heel and put in the heel command, after about a week, you can probably just drop the, the lead. It varies with dogs and it varies with your skill, but you can probably do it after about a week. And then probably after another week or so's training, you can take the lead off altogether. So we'll have a wander around and see how we get on Poppy with dropping the leads. So Poppy heel, tap, good girl, what a good girl. Heel, what a good girl, Poppy heel, good girl, that's my girl. Good dog, heel, what a clever girl. Heel, yes, good girl, clever girl, good girl. She's wondering about the lead. Good girl, Poppy heel, but she'll get used to that. Good girl, yes, 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 what a good girl. Heel, oh, you're a clever dog, aren't you? Poppy, tap, heel, good girl. Good girl, good. Now I'm dropping the lead so you can see good girl. This is starting, heel, good girl, good girl. This is starting to teach her to do it without the lead. So Bella, heel, tap, 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 good girl. Good dog. What a good girl you are. Good girl, heel, there's my girl. Bella, heel, tap, tap, good girl. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take this lead off and see how we get on without the lead. Poppy, Poppy, heel. Tap, heel, yes, 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 good girl, heel, that's my girl, poppy, heel, what a good girl you are, yes, good girl. So after perhaps two weeks training, poppy, heel, 
tap, this is the sort of level that you can expect to get to, poppy sit, where there's no distractions. And we would go from this situation and teach her the same things, good girl, in a lot of different situations, still without major distractions. We would then, perhaps in the first week, after going to different locations, we'd go to somewhere where we knew, Poppy, sit. Yes, good girl. Where we knew there was a distraction in the distance. So we could take her somewhere where perhaps uh, there was cyclists or, Poppy, come. Good dog, what a good girl you are. Good girl, sit. Good girl, that's a good girl. That's my girl, good. We could take her somewhere where there's a distraction in the distance, perhaps cyclists or joggers, and then we'd go amongst the distractions. So after about two weeks, we could start teaching her to do these things with big distractions going on. We're now going to teach her to stay in one place. And I've got this old blanket just to make it a little bit more comfortable for her. And I'm going to teach her to stay in one place using the collar. Now, basically, it's on the lowest level that she registers, the level we've been using in all the training. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to settle her down on that... Yes, you're a very good girl. I'm going to settle her down on that rug and tell her to stay. If she moves off, I'm immediately going to press the continuous button and keep tapping it till I've put her back on the mat. And in that way, she'll learn that by moving, the stimulation happens, and by staying there, the stimulation doesn't happen. So we'll just see how we get on with that. Hey, right, Poppy, come on, Pep. There's a good girl. Good girl, good girl, sit. That's my girl. Now, I'm gonna get her down, and I'm gonna use a treat and tell her down. Good girl, good girl. Just get her comfortable on her side. Give her a treat when she's there. Stay, good girl, stay. That's a good girl. Good, stay. Good girl, stay. That's very good. Stay, stay, yes, good girl, good girl. Now I'm gonna give her a treat, but notice it's very important that she gets the treat while she is staying. Stay, yes, good girl. If, she's, if you think she's been very good, and you go away from her, and you come back, and she gets up, and you then give her a treat because she stayed well, she will think in her mind that the treat is for getting up. So if we're using a treat for staying, and you don't have to, always give the treat when she is actually in the staying position. Poppy, stay. Good girl, stay. Good dog, stay. Stay. Yes, clever girl. Now I'm going to let her up now. And when we've finished, we haven't had to use the collar yet, but I'm going to let her up. When we've finished the staying, good girl, stay, I'm going to give her a signal that means she can get up. Poppy, okay. Good girl. Good girl. Now we're going to do the staying with Poppy again, and this time we're going to have a slight distraction. So Poppy, good girl. That's my girl. Good girl. And down. Clever girl. Good dog. Good dog. Poppy, stay. Stay. Now if Poppy moves, I'm just going to press the button as she moves, guide her back to the spot, and then take the button off as soon as she's settled again. So if you'd like to try and distract her, Button on, button on, good, button off. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl, good girl. So this time she's not moving despite this distraction. She's so good, Poppy, good girl, good girl, stay. Good girl, good girl. That's a good girl, stay. Good girl, good girl, stay. Good girl. Now I'm going to release her there, that's fine. Good girl, so she gets a treat while she's staying. And then we say to her, good girl. Okay. We're now gonna start teaching Bella 
to come back to us when she's called. And to do that, I'm going to put on a long line. So the first thing I do is put on a long line and then I take off the lead. And we get rid of the lead and we start teaching her to come back when called. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to call her. I'm going to tap the button as I call her. And when she comes back to me, I'm going to give her a wee treat. Bella, come. Yes, 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 yes. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So that's all I was doing is as she was coming back to me, I gave her a treat. When I called her, I was tapping the button. So we'll do it again. Tap, tap, tap. Bella, come. Good girl. Good, 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 good girl. Good dog. Good girl. Good girl. So she's starting to come back in response to the command, Bella, come and to the taps on the button. And when she comes back, she's getting a pleasant experience. And we'll do this again. Bella, come, tap, tap. Good girl, good, 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 good girl. Yes. And as soon as I know that she's definitely coming back, I stop tap, good girl. I stop tapping the button. So we'll let her, one good girl. Yes, you're okay. Good girl, we'll let her wander around a little bit. We're now going to start teaching Bella to come from one person to another. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to call her. We still have the long line on, but you'll notice that I'm not using the long line to pull her to me. It's just for a guide and as a safety measure. So I'm going to call her. I'm going to say, Bella, come and tap, tap, tap as I call her. Bella, come, tap, tap, tap. Good girl. Good, 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 good. Yes, 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 yes. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. And now her owner's going to call her. And if necessary, I'm going to use the button. So call her. Bella. Good girl. Very good. Okay. Right. And now her owner's going to call her. And we didn't need to tap the collar that time. She went straight back. And I'm going to do it once more. I'm going to have a treat ready for her so that coming back is a pleasant experience. If she doesn't come back immediately, we'll use the collar to give a couple of little taps. Bella, come. Bella, come. Yes, 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 yes. Good girl. Good girl. Good. So she was a little bit reluctant there. And I just tapped it a couple of times and she came straight back. We started off by finding out the right level of recognition for Bella. And that is the, be the level of the collar, the level of stimulation that Bella just felt without it hurting her at all, but without her completely ignoring it. And I did that by wandering around, pressing the button at the lowest level, turning it up to the next level, and at the next level, I found that she was just looking around or her ears were twitching when, she, when I pressed the button. We then started teaching her to pay attention. And I did that by changing direction, turning around, and as I did so, I was tapping on the button. So as I changed direction, I went tap, 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 tap at the lowest level. And as soon as she paid attention to me, I stopped tapping, and sometimes I gave her a treat just to reward her for paying attention. Good girl. We then put in the command heel. Now, when she was paying attention, I started saying to her, good girl, heel. And she started association, associating the word heel with being in the correct position. As soon as I turned around, I said heel and tapped the button as I was saying it. And she started learning that when I said heel, she started paying attention and coming into the right place. And I gave her a reward occasionally when she was in the right place. Yes, there's a good girl. We then went on to Bella coming when called. And I simply said to her, Bella, come. And as I did so, I was tap, tap, tapping the button. As soon as she was committed to coming to me, I stopped tapping the button and I occasionally gave her a reward as she reached me. So now Bella has done very well. I'm going to let her off the lead and I'm going to let her have a little run and play with the ball. What a good girl you are. Yes, what a good girl. Hey. 
There you go. There you go. There's a girl. Good girl. What a clever girl you are. What a clever girl. Yes. What a clever girl. There are deer there, yeah. Oh yes, and, definitely. And we'll have a couple of training sessions there, and just to get you familiar with exactly how to use it. Yeah, it'll be very interesting, I think, to see how she reacts in that. Well, Julie, we've done some training with Bella. She's responded very well. We've been in the park. She's come back simply to a slight stimulation with the collar, and she's also come back when you've asked her to come back. Yeah. We've now brought her to the woods and we've been wandering around the woods for about 20 minutes half an hour and do you find her behavior any different now it's completely different to what it had been when i first got bella and um, especially in torbreck wood um, i'd only be out for a few minutes and then she'd just disappear you'd call and call <laughs> and call and i could be standing around for you know, up to half Good an girl. hour, Sit. wondering if she's going to come Stay. back or not, which panics, would of panic course it anybody, does. you know. Of course it does. But with the, the training that she's had and the aid of the collar, she comes back immediately, which would never have happened beforehand. But do, do you find her a bit more depressed? Has it suppressed oh, no, her behaviour no, at no, all? No, not at all. No. Good girl, Steve. She's in, more under control, but she's just the same, enjoying her walks, uh, you know, se um, scenting, all the rest of it, you know, she's still enjoying that, it's just that she comes back immediately, so we're both happier. Good, good. She's so... happy with my behaviour, I'm happy with hers. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much, Julie. You're welcome. Fine. Today we're going to be showing you how to train a dog to come back to a whistle. And this is Clooney. Now, yes, you're a good boy. Clooney is being trained as a gun dog. So we don't want to inhibit him too much, but he's got a terrible chase instinct. He hunts up and he won't come back when the owner uh, calls him or whistles him. So all I'm gonna to do today is put him on a long line and teach him to come back to the whistle. As you can see, he's quite interested in scents. And I'm gonna take the lead off now and put him on a long line and just let you see him sniff around a little bit and do his own thing. There we are, Clooney. Uh, as you'll probably see, he's got a bit of a mind of his own. He's a lovely dog, but he's very keen on scents and hunting. And when we're trying to get him to retrieve as a gun dog, sometimes he just takes off after a scent or a rabbit or a hare, and he will not come back. We don't want to stop him doing his retrieving, but we certainly do want him to come back the whistle. So I'm going to start teaching him to come back the whistle. And what I'm going to do is use some short blasts on the whistle, tap the collar as I give these short blasts on the whistle. As soon as he starts coming back to me, I stop tapping on the collar. And when he does come back, I sometimes give him a wee treat and tell him what a good boy he is. Good boy, good lad, good dog, good boy, good. Good lad, good boy. Good boy, that's good. So I tapped as I whistled and Clooney started to come, in, come back very quickly and I stopped tapping. So I'm just going to take this line off him now and give him a bit more freedom. There you are Clooney. There we go. And now Clooney's interest in ascent, I'm going to blow the whistle and tap at the same time and you'll see that he'll come shooting back. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good lad, good boy, good boy. And I'm not giving him a treat that time, I'm just telling him he's a good boy. Again, I'm going to blow the whistle, and as I blow the whistle, tap, 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 tap on the collar. 
We'll go a little bit further away from him this time. Good boy, good dog, good boy. What a good boy you are. Good lad, ah, it's a good boy. That was excellent. So Clooney's starting to realize that when I blow the whistle, uh, he feels a little stimulation, which reminds him to come back and he comes back straight away now. Good boy. Yes, you're very good. This is Casey, and as you can see, Casey is rather a different kettle of fish from some of the other dogs we've been working with. And Lorraine, Casey's owner, is having quite a problem. As you can see, Casey's quite an excitable dog. She's a chocolate Labrador, and she's just under seven months old. And Lorraine has been trying to use a harness, a training harness with her, but as you can also see, to very little avail. I'm going to start by finding the right level for Casey and then, I'm going to and then I'm going to work on getting her to pay attention. Come on Casey, there's a good girl, tap, tap, tap at number one, nothing, a little bit higher, nothing, tap, 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 tap at number two, nothing at all, tap, tap, that's a good girl. That's a good girl, yes, good. So, number two, she seems to be just tap, tap, tap. Good girl, good, good girl. That's my good girl. Okay, so there's Casey starting to pay a little bit of attention and tap, tap, to pay a little bit of attention, to settle a little bit and to be a bit more sensible. I'm changing direction this way, good girl. That's very good now. Now this is more tap, 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 tap. That's a very good dog. Good girl. What a good girl. Quite nicely there. And we'll do that again. Tap, 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 tap. I'm going to have to turn it up a touch. Again. What have you got there, you silly girl? Come on, Pep. There's my girl. Good dog. We'll walk into the distraction and I've turned it up just a little bit more. Good girl. Good dog. What a good girl you are. Clever girl. Good heel. What a good girl you are. That's my girl. Come on then. Come on then. Good girl. Good. Tap, tap. Good girl. Good, 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 good. And you saw that time. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. You saw that time she just a little tap and she turned away from the distraction and started to follow me, which is exactly what we want. These other behaviors, we can sort them out later. I'm just wanting her to be happy and just a little bit more attentive. Now then, there we are, good girl. Good girl, good girl. Tap, 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 tap. Good girl, good. That's it, clever girl. There we are now, good. Come here for me, Lorraine. Don't say her name, but just sort of tap your chest. I'm tapping when she jumps up. Tap, 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 tap. And now I've stopped tapping, because she's tell her she's a good girl now. Tap, 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 and she's come down. Now, if you would like to give her a treat there when she's not jumping, and just give her the treat when she's on the floor, she, at least when she's got four feet on the floor. Good girl, good girl. That's a good girl. Now this time I would like you to get the treat and hold the treat up just about there. Don't say anything, just hold the treat up. Good girl. That's a good dog. That's very good. Tell her she's a good girl. Right, now without saying anything, just hold the treat and go like that. There's a go. That's it. Now, I'm not tapping the collar now. She's learned that she doesn't jump up, and if you give her the treat now, when she's got four feet on the ground, that's fine. Good. So that's how you teach her not to jump up.
Uh, stay. Good girl. Heel. Heel. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Heel. What a good girl you are. That's my good girl. Clever girl. What a good girl. What a good girl. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Good dog. Heel. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Heel. That's my good girl. Good dog. Good. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. So now she's paying attention even though there's another dog there and normally she'd have been going really crazy with the other dog. So good girl. Very good. Yes. Sit. Yes. You've done very well for a little puppy. Sit. And I think we'll finish there. Thank you for taking the time to study this video. We hope you found it informative and now fully understand the benefits of the remote training systems. As a founding member of ECMA, the Electronic Collar Manufacturers Association, it's important for us to know that people are using our products responsibly and we hope you enjoy many happy times ahead with your well-trained pet. For more information, visit our website at www.petsafe.net or call our customer care line on 0800 046 1414.